Welcome or welcome back to any help at C squared. In this example, we have an absolute value inequality, which says absolute value of 2x minus 5 greater than 3. So this is very important to, the, to see this greater because this inequality then has to be broken in two pieces. One says 2x minus 5 greater than 3. So the same like the original one, just drop the absolute value. And the other one says 2x minus 5. I'm going to switch this greater in less than. And I'm going to switch this 3 in negative 3. And one more thing. Very important word, or. Because that means the union of the solution set of these two inequality. So I'm going to solve each inequality. I'm going to add 5 here. And we have 2x less than negative 3 plus 5 is positive 2. Divide by 2, we get x less than 1. And I'm going to do the same thing with the, the other inequality. I'm going to add 5. I have 2x greater than 8. Divide by 2, we have x greater than 4. And do not forget this word, or, very important. Because now I'm going to do some pictures. And the first picture is going to show me this solution set. The second picture is going to show me this solution set. And the third one, I'm going to put them together using this word, or. So, let's go with the first one, which says number less than 1. So I'm going to say 1 is here and you see I use a parenthesis and I'm going to shade this side. Those are the number less than 1. The second one says number greater than 4. So if this is 4, I have to shade it to the right of 4. And like I said in the third one, we're going to put them together. So I'm going to have 1 here. and shade the left side, 4 here, and shade the right side. And now, the very important to remember, this OR goes with this sign, which means union. Put them together. And here we have infinity, negative infinity, in case you need this positive infinity. And now I'm going to write the interval notation. I'm going to start from the left, negative infinity. And I'm going to stop here to 1. I'm going to put a parenthesis. Then union, remember this sign, for infinity. This is the interval notation, the third way to show the solution set. Okay. And now I'm going to show you a graphical approach of this problem. You notice here I have the absolute value of 2x minus 5 in y1. Okay, if you want to find this function, click second catalog and the first one is absolute value and then on y2 by I don't have that 3 by should be a 3 here okay I don't have it here but it should have been there and there you go now we have the picture absolute value of 2x minus 5 is this v now I'm looking when is greater than 3 that is this piece you see is above of this y2 which is 3 and this is also above y2 right this is these are the two pieces okay the two rays if you want to call them like that and if you take a look that means i'm coming from the left side negative infinity i'm going to stop here and then i'm going to move here and keep going that's the solution set and that's it if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to click the like button and come back on c squared for more help Thank you.